Here with Mohamed Makayev, uh, back here in London, UFC Fight Night, and uh, we just saw you obviously in March here. What is the biggest difference in you between now and then? I think um, I grew up a little bit. My mentally, I've become stronger, and physically, I think each month I get stronger and stronger. Especially, I've been in American Top Team camp, and uh, as part of like Pantoja, mm -hmm. so uh, who just fought against Marshall, and knowing my level. So mentally stronger, because you seem like a pretty mentally tough guy when I saw you back in March. It feels like your life has made you pretty mentally tough. What, what's different about you mentally? I think I'm more relaxed about everything, you know, like each fight I get more relaxed and relaxed. It's like a normal week of the sparring, basically, like sparring this Saturday for me, you know. Mm -hmm. I thought you were going to say the biggest difference is that you have uh, glasses that allow you to see now because your <laughs> eyesight is not that great. Huh? It's, it's, I, I, I see better now. Yeah. How does it feel walking around actually being able to see stuff? Feels good, <laughs> but sometimes you don't want to see like mm -hmm. other people. <laughs> you came in here with very specific goals in mind. You called out Tim Elliott after your last fight. Does this opponent, um, does it satisfy? Were you happy with it? Is is this about the level of opponent that you wanted? Hundred percent. I'm ready for all these guys, and uh, against him, I can do anything I want. And uh, I don't see, to be honest, anybody who stops me in flyweight division. Mm -hmm. They like. Dimitris Johnson, I think, and like Henry Suhudo, they're like dangerous fighters, but Figueroa, Figueredo, like I don't think he makes weight anymore to fly weight, and I don't see anybody apart from these guys. Mm -hmm. So I felt like you, you probably called out Tim Elliott, and you can correct me if I'm wrong, but there was a number next to his name. This guy, there's no number, but I think most fan, well, the hardcore fans are kind of aware that he's good, but since he hasn't been in the UFC, he doesn't have a number. Do you feel like this fight will get you, like, what you would hoped for in terms of the rankings? I heard Tim Elliott doesn't turn fights down. When I called him out, I didn't know he has a fight against uh, Albazi. But um, if he's free, Abu Dhabi or Madison Square Garden, October, November, I'm, I'm here. Mm -hmm. do you, when you look at your opponent this weekend, do you feel like he's on the same level as those ranked guys? Like, do you feel like a win over him in your mind is the same as it, it shows as much as, as as a win with a guy next to him, with a number next to his name? He, he's he's good. He had a close fight against Rovial, who was ranked number six, and the last last defeat he has against Rovial, and um, he shows like he's he's up there, but uh, he has big problem with grappling and wrestling. How do you feel about how the dynamic has changed? Because it seemed like when this fight was first put together, you're like, hey, I respect this guy. We know each other a little bit from Tiger Muay Thai. And now you guys are going back and forth on it on Twitter. Wait, were you surprised by that? And how do you feel about the change? I'm surprised because, like, fighter should not get emotional. If you're emotional, I think you're going to get lost in the cage, you know? It's already, like, his debut and stuff. He shouldn't react to stuff like this. It's like you put AK-47. We're a man, you know? We're like cars guns and stuff like this. I know there's no guns in UK, but that, that picture I took in like three months ago in, in Dagestan, and it wasn't like a threat to him. I just posted, see in London, make a little bit of fire for the but the guy took like, it's personal, and I want to shoot him in, in inside the whole 2 and that's like weak mentality, I think. Hmm. Um, you, you kind of welcome it though? Because I've heard you say that you kind of like it when there's the, an edge to a fight, and I now like, it seems like maybe there is. Do you like what's going on? I, I like it because when I have too much respect for opponent, it's hard for me to get like turned in, you know. So I had previous problems like, like this when I have too much respect for opponent, and then fight goes to a distance and stuff. But for this one, I want to like take his soul out. Mm -hmm. I know you've been kind of being asked about this a lot ever since you did the interview with Full Reptile, but it yeah. stands out. You know, a guy who's 21 and very, very good at the sport, saying that, you know, because of religious reasons, you might not be able to fight much longer. Can you just talk about, for people who haven't seen you, you speak about this, sort of the, what is going on in your mind in terms of what the impacts on, on, on uh, your career moving forward? I just believe that there's better life than, than sports, like family, religion, and you see life more because I have been in this sport for a long time, since 15 years old. I've just been in the camps, gym, and don't see family much. So I want to t get my goal, become youngest UFC champion, and uh, just enjoy time with my family, I think, and uh, and learn more about religion. So is it more about the, the missing time with family, or is it more about the, the religious conflict that you have? I think both, both together. Uh, I think time flies very fast, and 
I have to think about next life. Um, I mean, in, in other religions, it would be, I've heard, I've heard fighters say this all the time, like, God put me on this planet to do this. Like, like God has, 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 no, definitely has brought me to this point and given me this talent. Why, why do you think you view it so differently? I think that there's different reasons. There's to be, to helping people and stuff like this. You, you've been created to be tested on many things, I think. And if you become rich, I think he tested you more than actually poor guy. So I think, I don't think that that's the right thing to say, to put you to be, how did you say? That, that he brought you here to do this, and, and that, that this no, is the path like, that he set for you. Not like fighting-wise and <clears throat> damage people like Charles and stuff. I'd, maybe, you know, they get upset after and, you know, like we, we don't see what's inside his heart after the fight and opponents, you know, they get upset. It's bad for the person and you make a person upset, you know. Mm -hmm. so. If you're already feeling this way, wh what is making you say that, no, I still have to finish the path, though? Like, I have to finish the journey. I have to achieve my goals. Like, why, why is, if you're already feeling this way, why, why yeah, is that keeping I already you? Yeah, I already started. I already got everything. I just, and I know I'm not far from, from the final goal. And um, I just, I just, when I start something, I have to finish. Mm -hmm. And so, uh, obviously, not looking past too much past Saturday, but you, I've heard you say you think in Paris, Abu Dhabi, like two more fights potentially this year. Abu Dhabi or Madison Square Garden, like Paris, I think card is full, mm -hmm. but um, Abu Dhabi or, or America. Okay, so last thing for you, when you picture yourself winning the championship, if you don't think Davis and Figueroa is going to make the weight anymore, who do you envision taking the belt from when that moment comes? To be honest, Alex Perez is good, and. Um, Nick, Nick Matthews Nicolau, mm -hmm. he is he's like pretty good. Too good. Askar Askarov, there's so many. I think Askar Askarov will be next champion. Mm -hmm. And uh, he leave bell for me and go. Because young guys hungry, you know. <laughs> I have a respect for Askar too. Great, yeah. man. Well, uh, the last one was a lot of fun. Looking forward to seeing how you uh, followed up on Saturday. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you for watching ESPN on YouTube. For live streaming sports and premium content, subscribe to ESPN+. Plus.